What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Jim the Giant, replying to Physiques of Greatness. So, links down below to Chris's original video. Uh, please check it out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, so, uh, pause this video and uh, come back to it after you've watched that. Uh, now, I've been meaning to talk about my thoughts about uh, Maria Kang and the Fat Acceptance Movement for a while now, and I thought that this would be a good opportunity. So, I agree with the Fat Acceptance Movement in as far as, of course, obese people shouldn't be treated like second-class citizens, and obviously people shouldn't be bullied due to their weight or any other physical characteristic, but I think that the movement goes way too far when... I see them basically uh, just doing the polar opposite when they're fit shame, and when they uh, basically fit shame, they'll uh, say that you know fit people are obviously really vain or arrogant and all of that shit. And I see them being uh, overly sensitive and blaming everything but themselves for their weight. And I see them basically try to minimise uh, the health risks associated with obesity, and that's where I have a problem with them. So, uh, Maria recently posted this picture, which has sparked all of this controversy. And I think that all she was trying to say is, hey, I have three kids and I'm fit, you can do it too. And people can, and I think the photo was um, supposed to be put up to try and help motivate people. Um, now, perhaps uh, Maria could have been a little bit more careful in her choice of words, but why the fuck should she be? People were going to be pissed off with her anyway in the fat acceptance movement because that's what uh, a lot of those people are like. And I think that the only reason her message is even remotely considered controversial, and people are going to be some people might be pissed off at me for saying this, but I think the only reason people uh, consider her message to be controversial is that it's aimed at women. As guys, we receive far harsher messages in regards to fitness, and I actually think what we have it about right. Uh, the women who are getting upset with this are grown adults, and they should be treated as such. Um, now, Chris made a good point in uh, his video when he compared fitness to other hobbies and said that it wasn't for everybody. I completely agree with that. Um, you know, I don't get how lots of people, they seem to treat fitness as if it's something completely different. You know, they think that, you know, uh, your genetics mean that you're just going to be fat for your whole life, or you're just naturally just going to look like a bodybuilder. And, you know, it's, it's pure nonsense. So, of course, you know, to give an analogy of my own, I can't speak French. Uh, I'm I could blame my teacher, I could blame the fact that I'm, I'm just not naturally very good with languages, but at the end of the day, although it may be harder for me to learn than other people, it is something I could learn if I wanted to, and I put in enough effort, it's just that I don't give a fuck. And it's the same thing with fitness. Obviously for some people it's going to be a hell of a lot harder than it is for other people, but in 99% of cases, obesity is something that people can do something about. Now, I can respect someone who says them that they're overweight because they just don't give a fuck, or that they've got bigger priorities in their lives, or um, something like that. You know, fair enough, that's uh, completely up to them. But when they start blaming um, when they start blaming their genetics or the fact that they've got kids or that kind of thing and say that oh wait, it means I just can't get fit and it's impossible, you know, that's complete bullshit and I'm not going to sit there and um, sit there and listen to that because that's insulting to my intelligence. Uh, now, something I do disagree with you on, however, Chris, is that um, the obesity ep epidemic doesn't affect you. I mean, you're, you're sort of right in that, hey, you know, if 99% of other guys were obese and you were ripped, you know, you'd be getting a hell of a lot of fucking pussy. I mean, you say you, get a lot, you got a lot anyway before, uh, which is great. But yeah, you know, I can see your point there. But I do think that the obesity epidemic does affect us in the fitness community in a negative light. Um, you know, we've got the black iron gyms being replaced by all these cardio gyms, 
uh, you know, uh, which is affecting us. Uh, you know, there's only one gym in my city which allows you to lift more than 160 kilos. Uh, in uh, other cities, uh, they've got no options at all. Um, you've got the rise in the cost of uh, healthy food, uh, friends and family dying uh, years before they should, uh, the self-beliefs of uh, your clients if they buy into that shit about um, you know obesity being uh, you know being genetic, uh, and you've got lots of bullshit peddlers who profit on these obe on uh, people who know nothing about fitness and are willing to believe anything. And that makes it a lot harder for guys like us, who are after you know who are after quality information. It makes it that much harder to sift through and actually find information, which is good. And uh, finally, uh, the way people um, I think that it affects the way that people view um, people view you. If people think that obesity is genetic, on the flip side of that, they're going to think that looking like you, um, looking how you do, is genetic. And, uh, you know, I've seen your transformation um, transformation video, Chris, and, uh, you know, you don't look like you're hugely, uh, you're hugely genetically uh, gifted. <laughs> no offence, uh, no offence there, you know, I'm, I'm not either. Um, but, you know, what, what I'm saying there is that personally, I'd rather that, uh, you know, once I get myself, once I get myself fit and have a decent body, I'd rather people actually looked at me and, uh, you know, appreciated the fact that I work my fucking ass off, and uh, you know that I that I eat healthily, that I work my ass um, ass off in the gym, and that I must do a lot of research in order to be able to get a body like that, rather than simply assuming that I'm just genetically gifted and I was going to look like that anyway. So uh, I think that's about all I've got to say on the topic uh, for now. I will be making more videos in regards to. Uh, politics and how that and how that affects us as, uh, as people in the fitness community so thanks for watching comment rate subscribe and i'll see you soon bye